Hello everyone, Solitary Witch Tracks Maria here. Um, I just want to show you guys, or uh, share with you guys. Um, these are my first time making powders or sachets with eggshells. I'm going to be making, a, for the full moon, I'm going to be making a protection one and a prosperity one. Because I was thinking, I've seen a lot of um, eggshells, um, powders and sachets made with eggshells for protection. But how, because of what I think is, the, you know, the hard protective shell protecting the egg in the middle, protecting what's inside, and protecting the life of the um, unborn chick. However, I also view it as a semblance of prosperity because it contains within it not only life, but something rich. And, I mean, if you eat eggs, it's something rich and delicious and a golden yellow cover color. And it's a gold color, all you know usually symbolizes wealth and prosperity and abundance and I thought why can't I, well, I why not utilize that aspect of an eggshell as well and so what I'm going to do is be making a prosperity eggshell sachet powder thing and then I'm going to be making one for protection as well I hope you guys enjoy all right everyone for my eggshell protection powder I of course will be having whoops eggshells now I've been collecting these over time, you know, when I cook or use eggshells in food and things like that. Um, I'll also be actually using some black, oh, here you go, sorry. So my um, black salt I made for protection as well to add intense to its properties. What it has in it are herbs as well. It has um, ash of the things I burned it with. It also has sage and lavender and other protective incenses, um, herbs in here. So I'm going to be using that as well. I'm going to be using sage, which is a very purifying, very protective herb. And then dragon's blood. First, I'm going to crush up the eggshells. It's a little hard if you have them upside down. But... I feel like. And also you can use your fingers to help as well. I'm also doing this in the time of a full moon. Just in order to reap the full benefits of what the goddess and the great spirit has to offer us on a time like this because the goddess is ripe and full and abundant with her energies and very giving and sharing and is more likely to help enhance our practice and our energies. Now depending on how you find you want your powder you can either ground it to a very fine powder or you can keep it kind of chunky. It all depends on your preference and what you prefer. I've also seen some instances where people would write runes on the shells and then crush them up in order to create like a sort of, or to infuse rune magic with their powder. Alright, now I'm going to add my black salt for section if I can get the stopper off. You can add as much as and as little to as, you, as what you would like. This is going to be a very protective powder so I'm going to use a lot. Yep. I'm going to see if I can get some of that sage out. And of course, dragon's blood. Dragon's blood is not only very good for purification, but it's a very potent type of incense. And depending on what form you get in it, you can get it in a resin, or you can get in like powder incense. This form came in a resin. I honestly don't remember where I got it from. I remember ordering it online. But it's a very potent, very strong um, herb with energy or resin with energy. So you can use as little, as little too much as you like, but. Getting it in a very strong, potent, like pure form is can be actually be pretty expensive.
I'm um, also, it depends on your practice, some people believe in going clockwise and counterclockwise with your energies have different meanings. Uh, personally, this does not fall within my practice. However, it does kind of give you a sort of um, meditational aspect, but um, normally, when I used to practice, use it a lot of my practice, I would go clockwise to enhance energies of something and to add into something. So I would be adding my protective energies and my protective intent into this powder I'm creating. And of course it's a right hand, left hand thing, but I'm left handed so I don't feel like me using my left hand is taking away the energies I'm trying to bestow or enhance and harmonize within this powder. Alright, and your powder can honestly look like anything. You can be very fine or very thick. This is how my protection powder turned out. So that is how I make my protective uh, eggshell powder. But um, it's very, very good because like I said, eggshells are very strong. Their shells are strong and they're hard. They're meant to protect what's inside the egg. Even though they're fragile. Like you can, if you sit an egg just like straight up like this way, you can't like crush it because of the structure and the strength so that's where the protective enhancing properties come from the eggshell and you can use it to sprinkle around your home you can use it in sachets to hang anywhere um, to hang like on a pet's collar to protect your pet or to put in your car to protect your car and things like that it can be on it's a very versatile type of protective powder and can be used for anything but I hope you guys enjoy this video um, if you guys use um, eggshells for anything else any other type of magic I will love I'd love, love to hear it. I'm, I'm always interested in utilizing what is around me. But I hope you guys have a good day and blessed be.